Today, my brother and I are going to see how long we can live under somebody's base without them noticing we're there. But the twist is that I'm also going to try to build a secret base under the secret base and invade my brother. Can I survive an entire week without getting caught or will the base owner catch us immediately? So guys, there's a person that lives underground right here. We can see the name tag and I, oh, there could be more than one person actually. First things first, we need some wood, but we really need to just steal some god tools from this guy so we can actually get constructing on some big base building. Yeah, we got to be very aggressive. The thing is though, if he's right downstairs, we're not exactly sure. Like, can we even go down there without getting caught? You know what I mean? Like it's going to be tough, Zach. I'm just going to be honest with you. We're just going to have to find a way in there though. We got to get good diamond tools right away. I say we just start with like a wood shovel, a wood ax, dig straight down and see if we can find an entrance. Yeah, let's do that. Well, this one's extra hard because it, we don't really know what we're facing. At least I don't underground. I think I know the best way to do this, Zach. There's a bunch of animals, cows right below us, 27 cows. We dig down to the cow pit and they'll kind of mask our noise as we go down. Okay, all right. You know that's at least an open spot in the base because there's a lot of animals. Man, this one's gonna be super hard. I feel like this base is kind of tiny. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in there. Oh, he's right on us, right on us, right on us, right on us, stop. He's crouching right there. I did see that, I did see that. Careful, careful. Stay with me right behind me. You tell me when to stop, I'll keep digging. We're gonna find a good entrance point. Dude, I think we wanna go lower right here on the corner. The corner is gonna be the perfect spot. It's a good entrance point here. Let's find the bottom first so we can find the floor. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. I think we should stop. He's really close, he can definitely hear you. Let's see, if I type slash near, I can see how far away he is. Right now, he's just 20 meters away, but he might not be paying attention to game sounds. Okay, go, go, go. He just moved a little further back. The time is now. Okay, that is actually the floor. That's gonna be the grass the cow's on. All right, stop, stop, stop. He's literally right on top. Now, guys, off the record, I'm muted right now. We took off all of Isaac's commands secretly so that he can't use anything to discover the secret base that I'll eventually make under him. You're gonna see him complain about that a lot this video, and he has no idea. So, guys, we're getting very close to the player right now, and we're just breaking. We cleared this whole area, and he doesn't seem to notice us. So, we're gonna play extremely aggressive because in order to pull this off, we, we have, have to play, play aggressive. By the way, I'm concerned right now he sees us. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy's playing without sound on. People do that, Zach. He's listening to music right now. He might. Might be. I mean, I am right underneath him and this man is not suspecting a thing. I think what we should do, Zach, is push down the floor one more so that we can add a slab ceiling in the future to give us a little barrier of protection. You start pushing that down, I'll get the slab ceiling going. The idea of the slab ceiling is that these are gonna look like wild andesite blocks and it's gonna be just another layer of protection in case he does happen to break down. So I'm gonna go all the way across this and layer it up. It's a very important part for stealth. Look at that, look at that, full roof done, full roof done. Oh, it's nasty looking. I know, but it's a good safety layer because nobody who sees that wants to mine it. And so he's gonna be like, oh, I must live above a big deposit. I ain't going through that. Genius. Guys, one of the worst things ever just happened. Isaac's name tag couldn't be hidden for a second. That means there was a moment, if we replay it and show you on screen, where he could have been caught, but he wasn't. Disaster avoided, guys. Almost lost it. Wait, Zach, did you just use Super Breaker? Yeah, I did. Dude, that shows up on his screen. You can't do that. He's not paying attention. I'm pushing the limits. We have to. Dude, he might not have audio, but he can see, dude. You can't have that pop up on his screen. We have to. There's no other option. We've got to risk it, bro. But I don't even know what the inside of the guy's base looks like, and that's what makes this so intense right now. Okay, Zach, after we get this final floor layer like cut out here i think we need to start looking to invade bro i just broke an entire iron pickaxe just digging under the guy's base just to show you how far i dug and we're out of iron now that kind of sucks dude we got to get in there and invade i feel like. like we need new stuff we need diamond pickaxes to really expand our little empire down here all right we're gonna start off with our crafting table over here with a furnace next to it we have this nice natural cave system down here i wonder if we can utilize that to get in the base oh yeah zach does it connect to his base i don't know it kind of goes right up to it though i think it could be a perfect entry point if we use some torches to get up in there furnace walls looking good. This is the cave you're talking about? Yep. So we're going to take this cave, Zach, and we're going to go up to the left up here. And it looks like it branches right up underneath this floor. This is good because if we get in this way, at least it makes it so that like we have a cave and we could like potentially not have him find our base. But the problem here is that it's literally right below where he's currently at. So I'm going to explore this way and see if I can find anything. I'm going to try to move in on this side, Isaac. Go for it. Get your first invade in. Guys, we're going dark. I'm muting. I'm getting an invasion in right now. Isaac's getting some iron for the base. We've got to get some better tools, but there's nothing that we can do. I'm actually in the little mine system that we have found while we were uncovering our our first little dig area. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this iron and get it smelting up. I also think I might venture back to the surface, try to get us some trees because I'm already running out of wood. I'm down to 11 planks. Okay, okay guys, he's all the way over there. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear this so if there's literally nothing here, by the way, for me to take. I'm freaking out right now. He's right around the corner. Woo! <laughs> Truth be told, this is an area that I'm just going to close up and seal off and, and not come back to. This way, though, if my calculations are correct, is where his base is. I'm going to see if I can make another entrance that goes up here. And while I am muted, the first thing we've got to do, obviously, is establish a base so that I can start invading my brother. Okay. My stone pickaxe just broke, but we managed to get a staircase all the way up here. And it actually came up in a very hidden area. And we'll try to bring back as many saplings as possible. Okay, this is a single side view. I guess this would be a risky break. I'm going to leave that open right next to me and see what we can get. Oh, he's so close. He's going up. Oh, no, no, no. 
I'm, I'm, I'm worried here about the breakage of these blocks. I'm just scared. I don't know what way he's facing. I can't tell. And if he's looking at me and he sees a random thing breaking on the wall, he's going to freak out. You know, I don't really know. I'm going to try this one. I feel like this would be the least obvious. Let's see what happens. Oh, thank God. It's just a secondary wall layer. I can't get into the base, bro. Please leave for like one second because all your items are over here. What I do know is I'm a little bit too high. Let's see what this takes us to. Oh, double trap door. Now that's even better for an entrance. See, that's going to be the water. Oh, these trap doors show me exactly where I need to go. Okay, I got it now. We just have to wrap around all the way to the other side. All right, my goal is to break this stone axe before we go back into the base. That's really going to limit the amount of time I'm going to have to come back up here for more and more wood. Finally, we found the wall. I'm literally excavating the entire exterior of this like a freaking archaeologist trying to dig out a fossil. All right, guys, we have returned to the base. We got one oak sapling and five birches, so that should be plenty. We also have some dirt, so I'm thinking maybe right here we'll put down some dirt and then plant the oak sapling and see if it'll grow here. Right around this corner, though, if my calculations were correct, I think we just have to go down like this, and right in front of these should be the chest that we can get into. God, that took forever. Okay, let's see if it worked. Here we go. Woo! Nothing. You gotta be joking me. No! Where is he storing things? Six chests. Every single one of them has been empty so far. Well, unfortunately, guys, that didn't yield the results I was hoping for, but at least we know where not to go. I'm gonna go back really quick and take another peek through these little doors, these little spy holes here. He's got some more over there. There's only one way to find out, folks. Let's get over there. Oh, there's some items. All right, I have zero idea where Loverfella is, guys. He's been gone for a long time. I mean, we went up, harvested trees, we got iron. We're digging out the entire floor now, and he's still not back. I wonder if he's gotten into the base or not, or if he needs my help. I'm trying to think about this. Okay, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. Empty, empty. Oh, crap, this man's still there. Where is he, where is he, where is he? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm just taking it off. <laughs> oh man, that was freaking scary. I don't even know where he was. I'm not even sure if he saw me. I don't even know if he was in the base anymore. I just sent it. Bro. Oh, you're back. Nice. Dude, what'd you get? I, I just grabbed everything. First off, I got a full set of diamond. Pretty good. Okay, that's decent. But did you get any tools? Uh, I got you an axe. I got you a hoe. And I got myself this really, really rare skinned axe. <laughs> Okay, that axe is actually sick, but where is the pickaxe, dude? The pickaxe is the one tool we needed. I got also 64 iron. I didn't get exactly what everything is, but I found out where the rest of his items are, and so I feel good. I got a bunch of wood from the surface sack, so I'm gonna change our wood into some hardwood floors. It's time to move up in the world. I know where most of his items are. It's just like, I feel like it was so hot, we gotta take a breather so he can cool down, because I think he might be suspicious after what I just did. Well, then let's get some base improvements in here, Zach, and then we'll get back in there as soon as possible. Now, the goal here is simple, guys, simply to make a base more beautiful than the base that that guy's actually working on all right quite a lot of building here to make this look good but now that i'm muted you guys know the real real base is convincing isaac or helping him while we actually live underneath this wooden floor here soon but first we got to get more established here so let's continue to pretend like we're here to help isaac bro this is kind of a fun one like we're actually getting something huge here aren't we this place is looking good when i saw the guy's base actually looked pretty good but to be honest we've actually made a room probably bigger than some of his rooms already and it's been about an hour so far so pretty good but isaac i'm going to go see if i can get us a better pickaxe wish me luck all right what we're gonna do is try to get a little bit fancy with the ceiling here guys of course we do want this base to look absolutely awesome all right here's the problem we got to get to that side the problem is uh i don't necessarily want to make us run out there so i'm going to use this new iron pickaxe to dig around uh we're going to take a wild risk here got to find trap doors that are positioned in a way that i can actually climb into and do it in a way that i won't get caught he is right above me guys like i have never invaded a base where we basically have confirmed that the guy is not playing with sound like it's just a whole different experience you can get so aggressive we're digging right below him and he doesn't know oh he's inside of the chest right in front of me okay all right he's actually pretty far away it's risky time right now bro's busy oh god oh god Woo! what the heck was he doing well i thought he was just straight up coming up here and saw me and was about to open up the trap doors he's back out there i'm going 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 I need to get out of here. This is really dangerous. I'm gonna have to go. Guys, it's just too risky. I gotta close this up. There's no pickaxe in there. It literally almost cost me everything just to walk in there once. All right, Isaac, he has no pickaxes. I looked in everything. No pickaxes? What about diamonds? Dude, we gotta get something. Couldn't even find any diamonds up there. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. We're gonna be digging here forever with iron. Yeah, it's not ideal, but he is massively expanding in a secondary floor. And so if we give him a little bit of an opportunity to do that, it does mean he'll be up there and we can explore more. So there could be some sort of secret chest maybe. Wait, you're, I was building this 
storage room over here, dude. Oh, but that would actually be good. I like yours better. I'll turn this into a bedroom, maybe. So if we just go ahead and extend this just a little bit more, it'll give it a little bit of depth in the background. And later when we get more blocks, we can make this look a little bit nicer. And then straight across from him, I made this awesome little like airplane hanger looking thing. And we're going to turn this into the bedroom. That is a master bedroom right there, Isaac. My goodness. Dude, I've got to get an efficiency five pickaxe out. This is driving me crazy. We would literally be blowing through because we could expand the base five times more. Also, we need a food source. We have no food source down here. Yeah, this there's a lot of issues with this base we are realizing. You're right. I'm actually almost starving. What are we going to do for food? We'll go up there and look through his stuff. The only thing I haven't looked through so far are all the barrels. You can see if you can find it. Okay, I'm going to head up there after I get this cleared out. Good. Get yourself a little invasion. See what you find. All right, Zach. Good luck on the base. What's the best way into this base? Yeah, well, this is the best path in, and uh, you're going to understand what I've done when you're up there. There's some trap doors. Good luck. It did open up the opportunity to just begin the phase, and here's my idea. Now he's gone. Nobody wants to break a random furnace, all right? Especially if the furnace has items in it. So this will be the entrance into my base right here. I'm going to actually do 64. If it has a stack of 64 in it, that means it's mine. I got to break it to get down and we'll live underneath the wooden floor. But I also need to prepare this in a way that Isaac won't break the wood floor and go down. I got to make sure he doesn't go lower. He said I would understand when I got up here. Oh my gosh, he's one block away from me right now. How did he get into this base at all? Oh my gosh, is this a door that goes into the base? There's no way. He set this up. I'm going to have to wait till this guy goes away before I can use this. But we have to get better items first and one of the next things we got to work on here is clearing out this wall to make it look better that is so loud by the way i just heard loverfella use super breaker down there there's no way this guy didn't hear it i am still helping him and i'm having a lot of fun doing it actually this base is we've we've Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to go back to the base instantly. There's another guy here that's going to hear us. I thought Isaac got caught right there. Honestly, I, I don't know what just happened. I swear. I just see a purple glowing dude. Stop. Stop. Do not. Dude, there's another guy here now and he's probably playing with sound. See, that's interesting. I wondered who that was. We can't be digging. Like, dude, you used your super breaker. I heard it up there clear as day. That was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't know how this guy hasn't caught us yet. Well, the thing is, though, do you think the pink guy lives here? Fart Ninja. No, but if he who's Fart Ninja, that's one of my VIPs. That's one of my guys who donates on Patreon. And if you guys would like to become a patreon donator link in the description Dude, now is not the time for plugs i'm trying not to get caught but i don't know how to get into the base now because there's two guys up there i had to abort the mission to come back here and tell you to stop using super breaker i thought you were caught to be honest i saw you standing next to a purple glowing dude and i said well an admin got him because we don't tell our admins we do this so sometimes we get in trouble our admins go who are you guys we need wood and food so maybe while this guy is here we'll take out this absolutely inconspicuous uh, exit point and grab a little bit of wood and bring back home you know what it is pretty inconspicuous when you get up here zach because it's all hidden by the trees you really would never find us up here. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a quick little wood collection with my actual beast of an axe. I was like, why don't you work on getting some food products? Well, I was actually going to go break some seeds, Zach, and get as many wheat seeds as possible. Yeah, that's going to be essential. And water. Do you have a bucket? Uh, I don't. I have one. Here, take mine and then make one. We need two waters. Oh, look at that. It's a little pumpkin. Halloween theme. By the time you guys see this video, though, Halloween will be long gone. But what won't be long gone is this amazing Minecraft server play.loverfella.com, which you can join, get home invaded, and enjoy. Two plugs in a row, dude. Jeez, you can't keep, you're plugging all day. All right, I'm going to take these back down Stairs. All right, do you get some dirt, Zach? Get some dirt too, so we can make a farm down there. All right, you get you get the dirt. Oh, you didn't do it. Okay. Oh, please leave, please leave. Stop, 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 stop. This guy's definitely more aware. This guy's definitely more aware. This is a butt cheek clencher. I place blocks. He comes over, looks down, and goes back. It is not what you want to be doing. Got to commit though. All right, this is a very barren biome. I feel like to get actual seeds for wheat and stuff. Like I am not finding anything of value right now. We've only gotten four wheat seeds. That is not near enough for what we need today. We'll go ahead and make an iron shovel very quickly, and then we should be able to just mine up a bunch of this dirt really quick and that will be plenty for the base right here and guys because we've been home invading bases for so long my excavation is level 181 and that means when i harvest dirt i actually have a chance to get special items like glowstone on this server i mean we are struggling out here today folks it is just tough living out here trying to get something what is this little thing? Oh my gosh, guys. I came up to the surface. I found this secret little entrance right here. What little goodies await us inside of here? And while Isaac explored the newfound base, I continued on improving. Look at that. Symmetry, bro. It's just like, bam, symmetry. It looks good. I love a little symmetrical thing. What's up, buddy? Well, Zach, I brought back some glowstone. I harvested some dirt out there, got some glowstone so we can finally finish the sun. Yes! I got 21 bookshelves and I have it. Oh my gosh, you can't use that, dude. It's so loud. I know. Oh, it's so scary. It's so scary right now. Woo! Okay. We got an enchanting room set up up here next to the bedroom now, Zach, but we have to actually get the enchanting table. Full on enchanting table, full on bedroom. Crop farm can go here. We've got these weird, interesting doors that lead to multiple different caves, roofs, exteriors, crafting. Bro, this thing's looking crazy. We got to get up there, but there's literally, like, there's just nothing we can do at this point with two of them inside a base so tiny. Like, unless we can get invisibility potions, Isaac, which might be a necessity to go back to that trick because I don't see how else we get in there. That guy's moving. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. That guy's moving. Dude, wait, that's not even the original base on. Oh, the original 
original base owner is right next to him, though. Uh-oh. I wonder if they're complaining about something getting stolen and realize that it was us. Okay, so we really need to get some invisibility potions, which means we need to get first an alchemy table. How do we make them? Oh, it's just a blaze rod and three cobblestone, which we don't have blaze rods. Well, first sec, we got to get our smoker down right here. And we got a blast furnace. You know, I just like getting all the crafting things, though. It's a necessity. We're going to need another portal anyway, though. All right, and then over here looks like a good area for the farm. So we're going to have to dig out more of this, too. It's a lot of digging. Too bad we don't have an efficiency shovel yet or a pickaxe yet. I'm going to go ahead and just extend this out. Oh, there goes another pickaxe. That is like my sixth iron pickaxe. Bro, I had so much iron, actually, at the start of this. Right, let's see what I'm down to. We've gone from 64 to 42 by literally just making pickaxes. We're a little bit to the right of the bedroom right here through this little doorway. And this one's going to work perfectly because we're going to turn this little area that I've dug out right here into the starter farm. Okay, I am muted right now, so I still need to work on getting this secret base underneath there without Isaac catching me. He can't see my name tag, and neither can the other players. Cool, man. That looks really cool. Hey, try it underneath. Oh, wait a minute. Did he break my furnace to put a blast furnace? Bro, he actually broke my furnace to place a blast furnace here, which is mind-blowing because that was the one spot that I thought would be my secret base. Thank God I tested it for a bit because he actually would have discovered it. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go stand back here. I need to do a little bit of a brainstorm session because that was too risky. If he's already broken it, there's a chance he'll break something else. I feel like I need like something really sneaky to get a secret base. All right, we got the floor changed the dirt. We also got some water in the middle from our unlimited water source around the corner here. I need just a little bit more so that we can make these so they're not actually flowing because flowing water actually makes noise and we don't want that down here. I feel like it's got to involve water. Okay, I've got an idea. <laughs> it came to me pretty quick, actually. I think if I can make a bucket, I can gather my own water here for a second and... I can move the water to a better location by filling this floor in. We also need to make sure it's well lit in here because the crops need actual light to grow. Here's your water, by the way, Isaac. Oh, you moved the water. Nice. Okay, and we have a nice exit now. So I moved the water there, and the thing is, I think I can think of a really creative build using maybe trap doors where I could get in that water, dig, and create a secret base. It's gonna be really challenging to do, so we'll put these around the edge like this for like a little detail, but what Isaac doesn't realize is the one in the middle will be used to squish me to get in, and the secret entrance should be like right underneath this piece right here. So let me grab some blocks to work on the rest of it. I want to make blocks of different types because if Isaac is getting invaded by me, then the more different blocks I use, the more likely he's going to need to switch his tool and he wouldn't be willing to do that. All right, he's helping me now, guys. This is actually good because this room was taking forever and we're really just in a giant lull period until we get those guys to leave the base. Speaking of which, when I look up there, I don't really see anyone in the base right now. This might be our time to strike. Zach, it might be our time to strike. I looked up, I don't go, see Go, 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 move in. Go, 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 go. I think it's our time. Yep. Okay, I was excited here. Now it's my time to get in. Okay, I don't have any food though. I can't actually run. Okay, this is not good, guys. I don't know anything about the base, but I do know there's a door here. This could be our way in right here. All right, I'm in the base now. I don't know where I'm going. There's all kinds of good stuff on the walls. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, here is what's above the base, guys. Isaac's inside the base. If I can, oh, come on, come on. Crap, this doesn't squish me low enough. I have to do this entire thing and test it while Isaac's invading that base. And this is the only time I can do it. Oh, I gotta be so careful because like, I don't know where Isaac's name tag is. So here's the thought process. That squishes me. There we go. Get started, get started, get started, get started. No, I just can't let Isaac see me. I gotta see how obvious this is. We're gonna do a quick stealth check here. Quick stealth check. Break this to get out. Not obvious at all. That's basically borderline invisible. This is literally impossible to see. I'm gonna clean this up so it looks a little bit better by putting a piece of wood back there. Oh my gosh, he's back, guys. The guy is back. I'm stuck in the base and he's back. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh no, oh no, I gotta get back further. If I F5, I feel like he is right around the corner from me. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do right now? I'm stuck in the base. I have literally nothing to hide with. I can't even get back to where I came in. Oh man, I got in a rush to get in here and I think I may have panicked a little bit too much. Wait, he's going up. He's kind of far away now. We're gonna try to move in just a little bit. We have to at least make sure we close the entrance to how we got in here. The thing is that is mildly suspicious, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to catch Isaac's attention. Tension, especially if I do something like that and put them all the way around. Like it just becomes like an interesting little design. So it becomes a design. It's supposed to, I'm going to tell him like some lie about it. <laughs> I'm going to say that it's inspired by his roof. F5 guys is the best way to peek around corners. It looks like he's actually up top. So he's not in this room. Okay, there is some coal in there. We'll take that. A slime spawner. I don't even know what that is. A frog spawner. Okay, we are actually getting stuff off of this guy. He's literally right above me. I can hear him building. I don't know what to do. How you doing, Isaac? Dude, I'm stuck in the base. I don't know how to get out. He's back. You're stuck? Dude, I don't know. You might need to come open the door because I don't even know how to get back out. Patience, patience, patience. You got this. Just stay focused down there. You're going to be okay. Dude, I don't know where to go. Where are the diamonds, dude? Where does he have anything stored? He is literally right above me right now, guys, building. I can hear him placing down carpet. Okay, I can check in on Isaac. 
as I can hear him. So now I can get started on this. This allows me to crawl right into here and work on the base. I guess the problem is if I go down, I don't know how to get back up. I would need the water to actually flow down for me. So I'll have to break that to be able to swim out. But when I'm down in this area, it does give us like a two by two area. Okay, I keep opening chests, but they make so much noise. I'm really worried he's gonna hear me. Okay, I don't know what all this stuff is, guys. And I don't really wanna take all of his super valuable items, but I did just find something called a rainbow iridescent wig. I'm 100% taking that and coming back to lower fellow with it on. It wasn't an entirely successful invade, I feel like, but we did get back without getting caught. That's the most important thing. But look at this helmet. I gotta put this thing on. Look at me, guys. I'm now like a gamer chick. Look at this thing right here. Okay, yeah, we gotta go show lower fellow this right now. We're wearing this the rest of the episode. See, I don't know where he is. Oh, is he around here? He's not gonna recognize us, guys. He's gonna think he got caught when he sees me. Oh, crap. How are we looking, buddy? Where are you at? Oh, I'm up, uh, I'm up on the surface getting some wood. You want to come help me? Oh, yeah. I'm back in the base now. I didn't want to risk it too much. I didn't want to get caught right away, and he was right above me, so it wasn't worth it. But come up come up top with me. See if you can find me. Let's get some wood together. Are you there? I'm at the top now, yeah. Where are you at? I'll be there in a second. Sorry. I got... Uh, there, did, you, did you see the abandoned base nearby? No. The one on the wall? No, no, no. There's a different base out there. If you can find it, that's where I'm at right now. What are you saying? I'm so confused right now, the way you're talking. Hold on. Stealing something here. Oh, an apple. Try to collect some wood. Let me get through this really quick. There's a cool shot. Collect some wood. I can do that. doesn't work if I don't have enough food in my body. Okay, I lied to Isaac to get him outside, but this is how intense this is gonna be. So I'm gonna go out and join him really quick and uh, fix this staircase. That, see, like, that's the thing. Like, that's all I could do in, like, one single time Isaac left. It's gonna be a little bit of a doozy. It's gonna be a little bit of a doozy, to say the least. Yeah, hey, I fixed the staircase going into our base, by the way. Wait, you're right there? Yeah, yeah, I got back. Oh, I'm at the top. Where you at? Oh, what's up, dude? Getting some wood. I'm right behind you, dude. We need food. All right, we need food badly. You know what? If we could get into his base and kill some of those cows, Isaac, we'd get some food. Wait, do you not notice my hair, Zach? I've been waiting for you to comment on my new hairstyle. <laughs> I don't even notice. Where did you get that? It's like when I get a haircut and you don't comment, dude. How would you not notice this? Where did you get it? Dude, I mean, you didn't say a word. I looked at you like four times. I'm like, when's he gonna comment on it? He didn't say anything. Bro, it's crazy. That just shows you how little people pay attention. Okay, but look what I did bring back. I have solved our food situation, but I think we're gonna have to put these on the surface up there and just go up and harvest them when we need them. Oh, chicken spawners. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Take them up, put them down. I also got these, dude, and I don't know what to do with these, but I feel like potentially they're worth some money. Slime and everything. Hey, put the, put a, put a, the slime up there. We need slime blocks for some pistons. Where? Okay, I'll put everything up there, but to be honest, Zach, I never found anything of real value. Like we need diamonds and obsidian, so you might need to get back in there for another invade. I'm clearly the successful invader, so I'm gonna go up and do what I need to do. The successful invader, guys, that's all in the eye of the beholder. I would say I stole the coolest item ever stolen in Home Invaders. He's up top, he's up top. Okay, go. Now, oh my gosh, instantly put down the slime spawner and this big dog just spawns and tries to kill me. This is major because now we have slime balls, which we can use to make sticky pistons, which are actually going to be awesome for making secret entrances into this guy's base. I mean, we could get pretty elaborate with this if we get a lot of redstone. And the chicken spawners right here are also gonna be useful because they are gonna give us unlimited food. Dude, it's really just a matter of getting extremely lucky with stuff like this. I just need the food for myself so I can swim into my little secret hole. We need a mine and I hate to say it, but I feel like it's just something we're gonna need to do now here so i guess i could just start digging a little bit of a mine or at least a little bit so i get coal so i can get enough energy right we are starving to death we could literally not have gotten these chicken spawners sooner i'm not even gonna have time to cook these things but we have some raw chicken to eat before i absolutely starve to death oh yes sure just a couple of these will go a long way in getting me fed but at least i can go get myself some food and i don't want to put it in the smoker but i feel like i'm going to oh look at the speed of this dude oh my gosh i just realized i have half of a heart one and a half hearts right now those slimes are almost killing me so we're gonna have to leave those alone for a little bit um we might just have to take our 14 chicken right now go back down into the base and hopefully that can get us back up to full health oh yeah look at that isaac dude you got all the meat what was i up there harvesting chicken for well i decided i'd kill his cows i didn't get the diamonds but i got a bunch of meat i mean that's useful because i'm basically dying to death i'm actually gonna have to eat some golden apples to get my health back up <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm gonna replace these furnaces with two more smokers actually right here we can uh massively increase the efficiency of this oh our first crop is officially grown right here guys it is sugar cane it's always sugar cane to be the first to grow but we actually successfully propagated crops below this guy's base now that's a pretty big step if you ask me after that isaac needed to take a quick bathroom break so i decided to use this opportunity to try to expand my secret base quick little expansion crap all right let's get out of here i guess that's a sign for now that's too much 
Oh, that's great. That is exactly what you like. Quick in and out. See how well that worked? He's never going to know that's down there. Now, in order to make sure the owner of this base stays online because base invasions with nobody on are not fun, we lied to him and said that there was a building competition. So what we need to do is Isaac needs to go up there and tell him shortly that the build competition has um, not concluded and he has to come back every day for the next like four days for us to finish. Isaac came back from the bathroom and went to talk to the owner to convince him to stay online for the next several days. Meanwhile, I hid my secret base. And after Isaac came back, he told me that the owner of the base is actually skipping school to play on my server. But guys, there's even more. Isaac's commands are not working right now. He can't do anything. He can't teleport. So I told him to hang out upstairs right now while I do some of the base building inside. And while my team is fixing his commands, I will be going into my secret underground Isaac base where I'll be invading him a little bit more to get a slightly more big head start. Okay, guys, Loverfella is down in the base. He is invading the guy. Right now, I'm just kind of taking a chill pill and I'm just going to chop down a bunch of the trees up here around the area. We're always needing wood and that has not changed. So I'm just going to spend a little bit more time up here and collect a bunch of wood. I'm going to dig this out really, really, really far right now, but not too big. Kind of just even it out a little bit. This is great. All right. This just is great. Gives me a couple minutes here to just get a quick little build. That was good. A little bit of a corner right there where it's relatively safe. And what is up here? Oh, see, you don't want to hoe that because that exposes you. So we'll just put that there. Hopefully he doesn't realize what just happened. And while I was upgrading my secret base, Isaac finished with his wood cutting task. I asked a mod to temporarily give commands back to Isaac so it wouldn't raise any suspicions and he got instantly teleported back to me. Luckily, I was able to get on my secret base without getting caught. All right, Zach, I am back down in the base. Look what I bring back with me, dude. It was a successful woodcutting mission. Woo! Look at that. Incredible. Yeah, we got so much wood. I feel like we need a wood chest now. Yeah. No, Isaac, I have a theory, by the way, as to what's going on and why he hasn't heard us. If this kid is in school, he's probably muted us so we can listen to his online school classes. Oh my gosh. Do you think he's actually, he might be in school. Like he might be playing this like in class. That's what I'm thinking. I think he's actually in school, which is, I mean, there's no way he couldn't have heard us build this so far. But we have a couple of goals, Isaac. And these goals are number one, make a diamond pickaxe. Two, get an enchanting table. Three, make the base look pretty. Four, see if the owner has more stuff to steal. Five, fix the tree room. And six, craft a brewing stand. One of the ones that I'd like to do is get an alchemy room, which means we need to get a mine shaft, which means we need to get some diamonds because as far as I'm aware, bro upstairs ain't got none. You tell me we need a mine? I got one started right back here. And it actually leads us to a cave. Dude, we could double dig this mine down. Let's just keep going. Together, we'll basically knock this out. We mined for so long that after several of our iron pickaxes broke, we started to question if it was even a good idea. But suddenly we found a cave, baby. That is what we were waiting for. Look up, Zach. Look how far we came. All right, I'm dropping down. I'll be the first to find the diamonds. All right, let's split up, but not too much and see if we can find any. I don't really think the cave goes much further, but I did get some redstone up here, Zach. That could be big for secret doors. So Isaac's gonna keep digging. I'm gonna go up, add some staircases on the way down for us and uh, make our life easier. All right, we're gonna get a little F3 check in right here. And we're at negative 55 at the bottom. So I think we have to go down four more blocks and then we can actually start mining straight in order to find the diamonds. All right, apparently guys, the most diamonds are at this level right here on the bedrock. This is a little bit more dangerous because the lava can flood in. But you know what? We live on the edge. I want to have the chance to find the most diamonds. I do not care if there's lava. I can avoid lava and I will find diamonds before Loverfell. That's really the only goal today, guys. There we go. Loverfella would have got these if he was mining. Guys, this was his side of the mine. I just found our first diamonds of the day and it's more than one. Please give us three. If this is just two, that's gonna be a real disappointment because that really doesn't help us that much. While Isaac's down there mining, I gotta come up top. I really, really wanna get some torches down there, but we're so shy on coal right now, except we have a little bit in here. So we'll take this coal. We'll craft ourselves 16 torches. That'll be enough to light this up because if mobs start spawning down there and come up, that's gonna give us away. There we go. We have an entire staircase all the way down down to the very bottom where bedrock is. I don't know where Isaac's at right now. Okay, there we go. It is actually more than two. This is perfect. Yes, we can get a diamond pickaxe off this at least. It might be four. Zach, how are we, how we looking back here? Look at this. Come back to mine, baby. You get some diamonds? Look what I just found. Oh! Oh, I know. And it's a four piece, I think, which it would have been better if it was a five because then we'd have enough for the diamond pickaxe and the enchanting table. But that's a start. Let's go. I got a full staircase up too. So that at least lets you make your pickaxe. Yeah, I'm going to make a pickaxe down here, Zach, and we need to find one more for the enchanting table. Yep. I'm going to go back upstairs, work on a couple of other things. So um, when you come up, uh, I'll see you up there. All right. Isaac's down here focused. He's going to look for that one last diamond. Okay. I know that he's focused on this goal. He's not going to give it up. Now I can move all the way up to the surface, get back underneath Isaac's base and put down some of these new decor. Oh, right, guys, we got the diamond pickaxe. That is absolutely huge. Let me tell you what. Now, I don't know. Should we keep mining this way? Because we just found them right there. I feel like we're going to have to go a long way before we find more. So part of me thinks let's go back down the mine shaft and go the other way. Anyway, as I was saying, back upstairs, clear out the inventory 
bring down the essentials, work on expanding the underground base and Isaacs, and um, we'll see how smart he is. What did he say earlier? He would know when somebody's invading him. If you think somebody was like invading you, would you actually notice you think or no? I would definitely notice that. I was, I've been invading and your pickaxe sound can be heard from a mile away. How do they not notice it? Guess we'll see. All right, we're getting lots of redstone. I always feel like that's a good sign. Redstone is found with diamonds. I just feel like you usually find them in close proximity to each other. So, oh, that's somebody else's claim, guys. If you see, we're not actually able to dig there. So we're gonna have to turn again, unfortunately. I gotta be so careful. Come on. <laughs> I love this. It's literally the smartest thing ever because nobody likes to move water. It just makes this such a better design. Now that we're in here, I could make my base out of exquisitely expensive blocks to flex on them. So I'm going to use the lapis as actually part of the floor down here. I also have three blocks of copper and this would also be really funny. Okay, we're just going to keep digging. Oh, there we go. Finally, guys. What did I say five seconds ago? If you find the redstone, you find the diamonds. They are literally like bonded together in life, guys. How many did we get here? Ooh, this could be a big, this might be an eight piece. This is an eight piece, but now it's time to go up and get that obsidian on the way out. And then we can actually make a nether portal. And then that's gonna allow us to get potions underneath this guy's base. But I think this is where the cave was, if I remember right. Yes, yeah, so here is the obsidian. Hopefully we can mine this, no problem. We got in, we put down some essential items. We got out, no problem. That base is looking phenomenal. I need to get some more items down there, like some beds and stuff. So I'm gonna use this last chest as a chest to store items that I wanna take down there. Okay, and then um, since these aren't growing, let's just get rid of these now so that we don't have Isaac break down in these. That'd be way too risky. And then cover this up with wood. We'll just put these back here as some uh, beautiful decoration blocks while Isaac's down there having no idea that I just did that strategically to hide my base. All right, we got our 14 obsidian and now we need to make our way out. Up there is the exit. So we're just gonna have to dig or pillar up with some cobblestone. That's no big deal. We have a bunch of it. And now we'll go up and meet up with Loverfella. Ooh, I like that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just some incredible depth in those pillars right there in the corner. I got obsidian, Zach, for the portal and the enchaining table. All right, look what I did to the base. I cleaned it up, added some pillars, fixed all the walls, added some details around. Look at look at the detail in here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You added nice little corners in there, Zach. I'm thinking right here is going to be another portal. What do you think right here? Yeah, why not? This is the way out though, so it's actually got to go back here. Make that flint seal, light that bad boy up. Then we can go there and get some blaze rods and make the enchanting. Oh my God, that guy is close. Boom. Oh, that looks good. It does not look symmetrical at all. I knew it wouldn't look right back there. Yeah, it does. What are you talking about? That looks amazing. There's a gap on the right side. It looks all weird. Oh, all we have to do to fix that gap is this. Plug that gap up like that. Bam. Yeah, but now your exit's gone that you were all concerned about. All right, all right, all right. How about this idea, mister? How about this idea? Ready? Go to the crafting table. Bam. Door. We're going to have to put one of those on the other side now just to make it symmetrical. And then this door will connect to this area back here. It's just actually usable. Nope, nope. We're not going to do that. It, it's a weird glitch when it does that. Hold on, bro. We got to get rid of that door. That leads right into my secret base. I'm freaking out. I just muted. I just dug right into it straight up. That is not good. That door has to go. I've got to make some changes. I have. That was so scary. I thought it was over. My heart just dropped. Oh my God. I didn't know it was that high. All right, guys. I got all the stuff for the enchanting table too. I believe this is the crafting recipe. Yep. I am a pro at Minecraft. Obviously I knew that. And I think our bookshelves is back here. I already built this in the way. So now the only thing we would need to get a level 30 pickaxe right here would be lapis. Like how is lapis the limiting resource in this entire base? We don't have lapis anywhere, really? Oh, do you have any obsidian on you still? No, I used all of it to get the- Okay, I'm going to clean this corner up. You're right. I need to make this look better. So I'll work on this. Okay. That was scary. I'm going to, I'm going to, I just like took over. I'll work on this. He's literally right above my secret base right now, dude. I, I'm really worried about this. I just, it's gotten so big now that like there's a high chance he finds it. All right, we need a little quick sugar cane harvest in here. And I feel like we need an actual chest in this room too, because it's kind of weird that the crop storage wouldn't be right next to the crops. I think that we should be okay because I filled that in with gravel. And obviously there's like a door here. So what I'm going to do instead is maybe just... Get, I don't know, maybe get rid of the pillar and see if this looks better. I just, I gotta do anything I can to basically not show him. There you go. A little bit of a fun little loop-de-loop -loop right there on the old door. And then there is no risk anymore of Isaac finding my secret base back there. At least not a huge one. We'll put a torch here. Okay, bam. All right, there we go. We got all the tools right here in our inventory. We got a pickaxe and two more shovels. So we'll go ahead and enchant all these. Oh, you're enchanting that. Very smart, dude. Oh, look at these bad boys, Zach. Efficiency. Oh, that's a good pick. Oh my. Oh, oh, you got two. We also got a silk touch pickaxe. You can have the silk touch. I'll just use the work pick. Silk touch, efficiency five. Okay, those are actually incredible. That is really nice. By the way, I, I made the exit door here. It blends right into the pillar and it looks really good. Oh yeah, perfect. Now I'd like to go up inside of his base, see if there's anything that we can steal, but the guy's so unbelievably active. We 
we've got to get invisibility potions. We have no option. So Isaac, I'm going to get some blaze rods. Goodbye. Okay, let's go get ourselves some blaze rods. And while we're here, we're going to use our magic thing to chop these trees. Okay, he's going to the nether, folks. That's a bold move, but honestly, that's fine because I have a diamond pickaxe right now that I can just absolutely obliterate things with now. And while Isaac was making our base larger, I found that unfortunately, the nether was already looted and there were no blazes in sight. So I decided to get more creative and search for a blaze farm ran by other players. On my server, play.loverfella.com, you can actually set up warps for players to teleport to with different businesses, like this one, for example. And when I was done farming blaze rods, I just headed back home to finally craft my brewing stand. 17 blaze rods, uh, a little bit of cobblestone. I think that's all you need to make a alchemy brewing stand. I'll make two of them, and then I'm going to put them in a very nice location, and that location will be over here so that we can further hide the little secret thing that I've been building this entire time. Okay. Isaac, where should I put the alchemy? Where do you think? I don't know. I'm actually going to be moving this whole farm, so technically you could put it here. Okay, yeah, you're going to move the farm, huh? I think so. I want to turn this into like a bigger hallway and then move the farm back to the back right. Uh, that's a good idea. I'll take that if you want. Seems kind of boring because I'll take that and I'll work on alchemy because we need this anyway with um what I'm doing. So you'll take what? The f I'll do the farm thing because it goes in with the alchemy that I'm making. So I'll do this. Oh, well, I think we, I mean, this is a big project. I think we can both do it. I'll be digging. Maybe we should put a big wall up here out of like a cool wood or something like a little, yeah, yeah. We'll split it up with a wall. You'll make that Zach. And then like behind this past the diagonal hallway will be my farm project. You work on this room. So I started renovating. My main goal though was to secretly disguise my secret base even more than I already had. In the meantime, Isaac was digging like crazy and building out the farm room. But then Isaac decided to get dirt from the worst place possible. Oh no, 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 no. Check this out. Come here. Hold on. I'm trying to mine my dirt. Give me two seconds. I'll get you dirt. Come here. I want to show you something cool. What? Come here. Look at this. Look at this. I was digging in this guy's base earlier. While we were inside this guy's base, he's ex look at this. Don't open this. He's expanding on the other side of that. And it looks like he's building another secret chest room out there. Oh man, dude, this is going to be impossible to get in this guy's base. He never leaves. Here's some dirt, by the way, 57 for you, but we got to get in there. So we got to get a new uh, invasion really soon. Watch out for that. It's going to be very intense. Careful, careful, careful. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Careful, careful. Right above us. Oh my gosh. What is he in? Oh, he's killing cows. He is slaughtering cows directly above us. This is highly risky. No noise. Absolutely no noise allowed. He has a lava up there. I think that kind of is masking our sound too. If he is playing with sound, I hear a lot of lava and cows. Get that farm built. I'm getting these walls completed. Let's go. Let's make this thing look good. This needs to be our nether themed room. So I'm going to make this look really good here. Bro, I don't even know what to say about what just happened right there. That was just straight up panicking. Straight up improvisation. That's not even a word in panicking. All right, we needed some water. So I had to get two buckets out of the chest right there. I don't remember where Loverfellow put the unlimited water source. Hopefully it's still in here in the potion room. That would make sense to me. Oh, he just took water out of my secret base. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought he found it. When he dug down like two layers, I thought that was it. I really did. Uh, and then he just took water from it. Oh my gosh. This was way too close. So to prevent that from happening again, I went all out on decorating this room so Isaac would not have to touch it again. That's freaking beautiful, bro. That's freaking beautiful. Let's go. Let's see what he's done in here. Oh my God. Did you clear this whole thing out? Yeah, we cleared the whole thing out. Now I'm putting on the wood walls, Zach. So this is going to be a big process at this point. Dang. Wow. That's pretty incredible. I'll get some staircases in so we can get up there a little easier. I really feel like we got to get into the base soon though, man. I agree. That's why we're making invisibility potions. You got any luck on those yet? Any, uh, any headway? I'll see if I can work on these, Isaac. All right. I think we uh, averted disaster there, but Isaac's going to get suspicious if I don't start making these now. Invisibility potions require a water bottle, nether warts, golden carrots, and a fermented spider eye. And we don't have any of that. So I decided to start gathering sand for glass bottles while Isaac was working on his underground farm. All right, as you can see, guys, we now have a nice looking farm in here with the lights all the way around. Um, we're running out of oak logs, but we have plenty of birch. So I think we're going to switch to birch logs for the ceiling. Okay, glass is coming together. We need to get a fermented spider eye. I'm going to see if there's any for sale. But yeah, this is the shop. I'm going to warp here really quick and see if I can buy any fermented spider eyes. All right, so we have a little bit of money we've made. Uh, the server does have a full economy. So I actually bought those at the server shop. And then if I craft this with sugar using sugar cane, which I happen to actually somehow just randomly have my inventory, uh, we need a brown mushroom fermented spider eye it looks different because we have a halloween resource pack on the server right, hopefully by the time we get this finished lover fella has figured out how to make an invisibility potion and then we can really get into this guy's base and invade get these bad boys jazzed up in here now we need his nether wart and i don't think isaac has any of that so we could go to the nether and try to find it or i don't think we can buy it there i wonder if anybody's selling it on the open market anybody selling any nether wart we got seven of these plus seven soul sand i'm gonna go plant these instead of using them because we probably want to get some more isaac whoa you scared me i'm not gonna lie you just jump scared me there but the roof is almost 
almost done in here. I have a small change to make in here into your farm. Uh, I don't like what you just said. I don't like when you come and change my builds. I'm just gonna be honest. See, what what are you doing right now? Oh, okay, you just need some nether wart. I could have made you a nether wart section. Yep, got the nether wart. I got the spider eyes. I got everything else we need. All we need now is some nether wart. And I'll, I mean, I'll go ahead and fill this area in here with some flooring. Yeah, we also need some lighting. I don't really have any light blocks. So if you can get some light in this farm area, that'd be good. Cause the crops are gonna need that to grow. Yeah, I'll get you some lighting. All right, Isaac wants some lighting. Uh, what Isaac wants, Isaac gets right now as he's working on such a monumentally massive project so close to my base. I really feel like uh, the blocks that I had in here uh, look really good. So I'm gonna take a quick nether trip again. Like, watch this, watch this, ready? Super breaker, gone. Freaking entire tree. Boom, another one gone. Another one gone. I mean, this that's why we have the greatest server ever. Then you just go back, collect everything. Took you 20 seconds. All right, now that we've cut back to Isaac, we can add in some more lighting for this guy. And I think he will be pleasantly happy with what I've brought. Oh, Zach got some shroom lights. That's exactly what we needed. Yeah, those really light up the place nicely. More light means more quicker growth. Okay, so this area is now looking absolutely stunning. We've got water, we've got plants. We just really need to get this little walkway. I don't know what this area is gonna be for, but. And after we were done with the farm, it was time to continue working on the invisibility potion. All right, that's pretty sick. I would say the farm expansion is now officially done. So look how beautiful this is when you walk in. This room looks great. It becomes our alchemy room and it's right next to the plants, which we need. I told Isaac to sell some items and buy us a carrot. Now we only need some gold. All right, I sold a bunch of the gold and ores we bought, Zach, I think I can at least get us one or two carrots. Well, Isaac just sold all the gold we had. Luckily, I remembered that I put some gold ore in the furnace. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. One golden carrot. This will whip up three potions. I'm gonna pop these in immediately to this one. After you do that, then you add in the fermented spider eye. Then you go from the night vision potion to the invisibility potion. All right, take your armor off. We both have invisibility potions now. The guy seems pretty clueless to everything. So all we need to do now is get inside of his base. And, um, we have literally built an entire room, multiple bases, a cave that goes, a, a mine that goes all the way down to bedrock, alchemy room, a farm, and more, just so we can get invisibility potions to invade this guy's base because he literally is online the entire time we're here. I mean, that's what that's what invading a base is all about, though, Zach. Like, it's it's challenging. I'm in the cave. Let's go, Isaac. This is about to be the riskiest play ever. It took us days of Minecraft to be able to pull this off. Isaac? All right, it's time, Zach. Make sure I'll you- Take your hat off. Oh, crap. But it looks cool, though, I bet. I'm gonna kill some cows really quick. We're running low on food. Oh my gosh, he has lost every single rare item. Check all the barrels. 64 diamonds. What did I just find? Rainbow crown. Careful, 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 He's near us, he's near us. He can still see particles. Unless he has them off, but he probably doesn't. Just be very careful. Oh my gosh, Jack. How did he not catch us there? I stole something called a rainbow crown. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Careful, 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 careful. Zach, you're moving around. He's right behind you. How is he not seeing you? Is he following me or no? Is he following me or no? What the heck? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, he's he's being suspicious. Oh my gosh, dude, he just ran right in front of me and went up the water thing. I thought we were done for sure. Bro, ain't no way. The particles on this blackstone block is wild. If you get in the water though, it's not bad. If you're in the water, it blends in with the water particles and you're practically invisible. Yeah, get in the water, just don't drown. Oh, I'm up at the top of the water column now. This is almost a perfect spot to hide. There's a diamond chest right above you, I think. I see a diamond on a chest, like on an item frame. I just looked, it's empty. I'm looking everywhere, dude. I don't see carrots. This guy has nothing anywhere. Literally nothing anywhere. Where is he storing his items? Oh, I found carrots. I found carrots. For real? Okay, I'm actually gonna re I'm gonna replant the carrots so he doesn't suspect us, but I got the actual harvested part of them. Oh, I see you. You're in the room with me. Wash your hands. Your hands are holding items. So this is like his like little micro farm and you just found those two carrots in the corner. That is hilarious. There's not a lot up here that I'm seeing though to take. I mean, we could take the enchanting table. We already have it. I'm sitting on the enchanting table so that I look like the particles from the books. I'm taking this armor. I took a full set of it. I don't think I'll notice. <laughs> He's, Zach, he's looking right up at you. Stop. He can't see me. Dude, it's so light. You gotta stop doing that. I'm taking the carpet. I'm taking the carpet. It's gonna help suppress our steps. I'm taking, oh I'm taking it all. Oh my gosh, dude. He's right there. You have no, ugh. Hey, your hands. You're holding a carpet. You're holding a carpet. Oh, trust me, dude. Trust me. If we get caught, it's not gonna be because of me. I promise you of that. You're holding items, bro, in your hands. Careful. Dude, do you, do you know how much? Oh my, I don't even want to talk to you right now. Too cool in the furnaces. Check the furnaces. 42 cool. Just stole it. Dude, you're being so obvious. We're gonna get caught. No, we're not. You just have to believe. Everything you do, I can see particles. <laughs> All right, don't take too much. Don't take too much. Just get just enough. All right, I'm going to drop down because I want to see what this guy's been working on. There's a new room that he keeps going into. I'm going to take all his lanterns. Zach, it's time to invade the room that he's in. We got to get more risky with this. All right, I'm coming down. Where are you at? I'm down here. I'm trying to invade the room that he's in right now. Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. Look at that. I just switched sides with him. This is going to confuse him so much, dude. He just put diamond armor on an armor stand and then I just took the armor stand. <laughs> Really? He's not going to know what happened. I have to wait for him to walk in here. Then I'm going to slip out behind him. All right. I took the, I took it all the way up to the roof. Guys, I'm playing ring around the rosy with this guy and he's not catching me. I got to make my escape at some point though. What is that noise? Me burning. Okay. He's in the chest. I got to make my run now. 
Ooh, slipped right behind him. Okay, I'm gonna break through where we came in in the cow farm. Okay, that was great. We got to go in, got the carrots, got a lot of other items for decoration. And I, 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 I don't actually know where the secret base entrance is. We got more carrots, so we have more invisibility potions for the future. All right, look at this rainbow crown we stole. We now have the rainbow crown and we have the rainbow iridescent wig. We're getting all of his rainbow items. We need to get some armor stands down here. That might be what I make now so we can display this stuff. I have two minutes left. I could always go back in there and enter through the house because if I get up here and I get stuck and I can't find the base, I'm screwed. So I might have to actually go back inside and pull this off, which I'm going to do. So here we go. Back inside we go. Risky, 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 risky. Go, 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 go. Good thing this guy doesn't understand how particles work. I'll be absolutely screwed right now. Woo! Let's go. That is how you do it. Are you back in the base? I am. I'm uh, making some armor stands to display all the armor we stole. What an absolutely absurd home invasion that was, though. Isaac's gonna get started back here on making the insane underground tree farm that actually works and grows trees. So then we never have to leave again for wood and we could even seal this door up. And while he does that, I'm going to work on a little special project I call Project X. You're gonna go work on that tree farm, Isaac? Yep, I'm going down. Zach. I'm gonna build it down the little staircase on the mine, actually. I'm gonna add a second level to this base. It's a good idea. You go do that. I'm gonna work up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a surprise to him. I'm not even gonna look until you're done. Okay, deal. Isaac's down there. I need to go grab all my items and move in. And we're in. Okay, so, so far, so good. Multiple days of this building, and now we have some full actual blocks of copper down here because then I can keep turning this into a serious flex room on Isaac. Okay, guys, so we are about to hollow out one of the biggest areas of the underground base yet. I'm gonna turn this little cave section that we broke into into a tree farm, guys. I basically want the entire base to be self-sustaining underneath this guy's base. And then we're also thinking about stealing his mob farm. And if we do that i'm wondering if we can get a bunch of bone meal or we can just grow the trees automatically we don't even have to wait for it isaac is probably near us there's the player right there Whew, it's giving me paranoid see the thing is i can't see isaac because our name tags are hidden but i can hear him so if i hear footsteps come near me that sound closer they're going to be right on this wood and it should be loud enough that i can hear it but i got another idea i want to try to put a block up there that makes a lot more noise okay there's something in the wall right here i don't know what this is there's four zombies right here guys we have to check this out to see if it's a mob spawner there's no way okay hold on a minute we have to go tell lover Oh, I feel like I stayed down here too long. I want to go do a quick sweep upstairs and see if we're looking okay. Wait a minute. I hear him, guys. Oh, no, that's the base owner. That could have been so bad. We have got to retreat to the tree farm. All right, thankfully, Isaac is still in there, and that gives me a chance to get rid of some of the stuff. All right, let's get back down there. I'm going to go for a full wall replace, and I need to listen. These are actually loud. So if he does come in here, I will certainly hear it. Okay, so we've got a pretty sizable area down here dug out. Let's take a step back and just look. Make sure the base owner isn't around. I hear him still. He's building something up there, but I don't know what it is. Down here though, we have an excellent start to the tree farm. We got this thing dug out. Now, Isaac's gonna ask what I've been working on when I come back. When I just thought of this, if I haven't actually accomplished anything when he gets back, he's gonna be really suspicious. So I have to now come back upstairs and now add something that like looks like I've done a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to create the illusion that I've added some serious details here. All right, this is a huge process. I mean, I don't know what Loverfell is doing, but there's no way he's done as much for the base as me. Like, I am doing the big projects in this base. I feel like he's just doing detail work or something. I don't know. We've got this little hallway right here, and I know that Isaac's trying to work on his, like, little area down there. So I'm just going to seal off that area, put up, like, a wall. It'll take, like, 30 seconds, but it will look like a lot of blocks, and I think that will be enough so Isaac believes that I'm actually still helping him. Okay, and then we also have this area, which honestly kind of creates, like, a little bit of a miniature tunnel here. I just feel like if I were to put a door here, it would at least give Isaac the illusion that, like, oh, yeah, I'm working on some sort of a big room. That way, when he comes back, I tell him that's my project. I'm working on and he has no idea after that was done i went back to work on my secret base i decided to expand it by adding two extra rooms okay all roofs are secured two rooms are set up let's get back out of here really quick because i haven't talked to isaac in a minute and if he doesn't hear me he's gonna get suspicious so let me just see how he's doing isaac how we looking down there come down here right now actually i know i'm not finished but i got a great find down here there's a mob spawner just right below the guy's base that's actually insane yeah so we got an awesome mob spawner down here we can use that to make our own mob spawning room i think down here because he hasn't noticed it already so why would he notice it now that's that's right, actually, and pumpkin seeds so we can plant pumpkins. I'm making, this is basically gonna be like a park is how I envision it, like a tree farm, but also a park so we can get some nice nature down here. What we really gotta do is get those spawners we left up on the surface, bring them down here, and then get a water flow to start flowing his down into this corner. Dude, once I get this tree farm done, Zach, I feel like you could put the slime spawners and stuff through here and it'll be like a little ecosystem. I'm gonna go see if they're up there, see if someone robbed him, I'll be right back. Bring some dirt too. All right, I'll be back. So you guys, that's how you do it. Get in there, make him think you're on his team. And when he thinks that you're, you're not as strong as him, when he thinks you're weak, that's when you're planning the entire time. All 
right, 64 is probably okay for now. Plus we got all the spawners. Close this up. Bam, no trace. Nobody knows we were there. Let's go help my brother out now and make sure he thinks that we are helpless. All right, Isaac, you want me to put some grass down here on the floor? Yeah, I want the whole floor, Zach, to just be straight dirt and grass. That'll be perfect. And then we'll put the trees on top of that. Turns out the dirt I collected wasn't enough. So I decided to strategically ditch Isaac and go continue working on my secret base. One room at a time, guys. Room number one, bedroom. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby, right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. We have a lot of deep slate. I think this would look really sick as a flooring in here. I'm not even sure where I got it. Oh, this is from, this is crazy. I'm using deep slate from the mine that Isaac is currently in, that Isaac probably mined himself to make a secret base to invade him. Like it's just, it's weird. Okay, we got a sizable portion of the ceiling done over here. I think this side is obviously gonna be the trees now because he put all the slime spawners over here. So that's something to keep in mind. And then I think what we're gonna do is kind of just continue on with this gradient. All right, this is the last bit of flooring we have to do right here for two individual rooms to be built underneath our main base that Isaac has no idea exists and then we're gonna have to take another break to go back upstairs because if isaac cleared an entire room in the time that i've like not done anything he's gonna again get very suspicious i've got to finish the mission while i'm down here i've got to at least get these walls done before i get out i've got to finish this one mission at a time one step at a time one block at a time and then we move oh look at that right there guys that must be the farm right there we could actually create a little pathway here and potentially a drop down into here i'm definitely doing that later getting the base all connected like that is going to make it feel a lot like more like a secret base all right let's go mission successful on that one isaac should still be down there and and he is. All right, I just saw Loverfella, I think, but of course he just went down here, looked, and then left. He does not want to help with this project at all. I don't want to do most of my crafting down there. I would like to do it up here because it's so much riskier to just be down there at all because like it, it ruins multiple invasions. And Isaac realizes that this is all about actually getting him caught. All right, we got the slopes down. We got to finish this last one right here. And then all we have to do is fill in this remaining little rectangle that we'll have left. And we'll be done with the ceiling. I think using glass would be a pretty fun little experiment. Oh man, to see what I can do with that. Go ahead and throw in some of these. Well, those are smelting. I'm going to get a double fill up here of some water so that I can start working on the pumpkin farm down in my room and see if Isaac notices. And, and we also probably have some growth here. Oh, that's nice. I could build my own farm downstairs. Do you know how funny that would be? Okay, I got sugar cane. I got just enough to start with some carrots and I can even convince Isaac that I worked on the farm and expanded it. Now I can take all of this downstairs. Okay, last thing I need is a little bit more dirt. We're going to bring that downstairs, but I'm going to pretend like I'm getting it for Isaac. That way he knows that I was up there working on something. So I'm going to see if he needs it. Isaac, you still need some dirt? Yep. We still need to finish this down here. This ceiling is taking me forever. I've been working on that the whole time. All right, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to get you some dirt. It's going to take me a minute, but I'll, I'll bring down a ton for you. Perfect. That's all I need, really. All right, I'm here to help. All right, I'm going to give him about uh, almost two stacks of 64 and see if that's enough. And then I will keep like the other like 20 blocks for myself, which I think is good. And uh, we'll just drop him a stack of 64 dirt. All right, Zach has just arrived with all the dirt that we're ever going to need, guys. So I guess we can go ahead and get that place down. How about that? You're welcome. That's good, Zach. I can get working down here. Did you bring me saplings? No. They're up here, though. It might be time, Zach. While I'm down here, you might need to get in there and get an invade, I feel like. Oh, yeah. I do need to invade. You're right. We got to get an invasion going. I'll keep working down here. Try to bring you back some saplings from the guy's base. Okay, I'll do that. Good luck. Oh, man. I feel like I'm being a little bit suspicious here with how I'm, like, speaking, to be honest. But Isaac said we should do an invasion, and if I say no, he's going to be more suspicious. So let me invade this guy's base really quick. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that bro put a statue there. It looks like a real person. The amount of tension right now to be able to juggle two invasions. Oh, he's not even near. Bro must be at the shop right now. Oh, this is great. This is excellent. Oh, dude, that's actually crazy. And I also need these planks. Oh, I'm going to run out of inventory space now. Oh, I'm killing this guy's money. I feel terrible. But don't worry. We will make sure that we refund him all of the lost items in pain. All right. We always do. All right. We're getting really fast block placement right here, guys. And we are almost completely surrounded now with birch logs. Yeah, this room feels a whole lot smaller now but that's okay this is still plenty wide enough for a tree dude he's like loaded now i'm so confused what happened i'm like i'm like kind of panicking right here if he comes back he sees me but like this is crazy there's literally so much in this chest i'm literally like tearing up right now there's no freaking way. Oh my God. That might've been the most butt clenching moment of my entire life. Where is this guy at right now? Oh, he's gr always, oh, always oh, AFK to zombie grinder. I cannot believe pretty much anything that just happened right there. That, I thought that was the end. I actually did. I was like, he just came back from the shop right next to me. We're just not gonna tell Isaac about that. All right, Isaac, back from an invasion. Okay, did you get anything good? Yeah, it was easy. Didn't even remotely get almost caught at all. This guy doesn't know what he's doing, Zach. I don't know why we're not getting more aggressive, to be honest with you. I mean, we could take everything this guy owns and he wouldn't notice. You might be right about that if you just saw what happened, uh, but I'm not gonna talk about it. What I'm gonna talk about is I got you a little more present for down here. Here we go. Uh, don't ask why I'm invisible. I don't even know where you're at, dude. I don't, I mean, are you down at my place? I threw some things for you. Okay. I 
I, I this was supposed to be a tree farm, but it's just turning into where we're collecting spawners, and I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, look at that, a hat. Kind of stole a lot of stuff, to be honest, so. Wow. No, you know what you should do, Zach, is make some armor stands to display this stuff like we did already. Uh, I know. I gotta work on another project upstairs, though, so good luck down there. You're always doing another project. Let me tell you what. Yeah, well, I'm working on something really cool up here. See, now he's suspicious. He started to say I'm always working on another project, so if I go back down there and I don't have another project, he's gonna know. So I can't do that. Guys, I'll tell you what, if you ever tell him to do anything, he instantly has another project. It's just something I've noticed throughout this episode, guys. But you know what always makes things look good and detailed? Barrels. What we're gonna do is a couple wall barrels, couple storage barrels all over the base, and I'm telling you, it's gonna blow his mind. I'll, I'll guarantee you, he comes back and he says, this is the coolest thing. See that? Such a small little thing, but suddenly it's like, wow, that's actually incredible, Zach. You've done so well. See, this little easy detail right here is enough to keep Isaac's uh, curiosity at bay. Like, locally underground grown crops being used to decorate our walls. Isaac's gonna eat this up. This place is giving me total barn vibes. I feel like I'm on a farm in the middle of the country, so we need to turn this into an animal exhibit. We have all these spawners and stuff. Let's turn these into little fence gates, and then behind this, guys, we can just put, like, blue concrete, which will make it look like the sky. This will be like a paradise down here, like a farm that's underground. We're gonna make a bunch of random, like, detailed blocks, and we're just gonna throw these up on top, because, again, Isaac will freak out about it, I think. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of anything that would make this look like I put a little more effort in, because I really didn't put any into it at all. all right, and then this side should be a grand window, I feel like. So this will be the centerpiece of the down here. And then the only thing we need to do, guys, is buy some concrete off of the market. All right, so actually, guys, I'm noticing that light blue wool is a lot more affordable. So we'll buy a stack of that for 3,000 and 64 should be plenty. So after we get this place, we just need to make some oak fences, I think. And those will look the best in front of here. And this will act as like the sky behind the base. If there was one other thing I could do, we're gonna make an infinite water source right here to make it less suspicious. We're gonna plant sugarcane in the basement. A little bit of indoor sugarcane goes a long way. I think we've done a nod in there. I mean, it's, it's a small little touch up. It really doesn't have a lot of purpose. So now that we have this, guys, we can put the green at the bottom, the blue at the top, and it's gonna look like grass with the sky above it behind the fences. This is really gonna liven up the base. Let me add like a little bit more in terms of like just small, simple detail. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna replace this with all water. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, you need a little bit of greenery in these bases. So that's gonna go hard. And then the same thing right here. Oh my God, that's my base. Oh, that's so bad, that's so bad, that's so bad. I don't know how that happened. I have had a severe lapse of judgment right here to make this happen. See, that's literally my roof right there. I have to turn that into some sort of block that he's less likely to break. And so I think what we're gonna have to do here, expose the base, make it dark. Okay, so now that is literally right below my base. And honestly, I think the best thing is like to make this a little taller because if he doesn't look in the water, he's gonna be less likely to break the water. So what I'm saying is if I can like put more sugar cane around it, I doubt he's gonna go in the center of that. And I might be able to make that another secret entrance in to my base. So now that these are too high, there's a less likely chance he goes to the middle. and I I don't know if I could put a trap door there or a piston or something, but it'd be kind of a crazy project to do. All right, and I just got some inspiration. I feel like we might as well add a sun to this one. This one feels like it would have the sun in the sky. It's the grand window in the back. So what we can do to get that is actually use some glowstone, I think, which will really light it up. I don't have any glowstone on me and I don't really want to buy it. I do know we tucked some away under here. Yeah, we could steal this one. And then there's also one behind the stone cutter. Oh, he's above us. He's putting carpet down. It sounds like it. That sounds like it. I think that's him. I'm going to go to the shop. I have a little bit of money. Sack of dark oak. I'm going to slowly crouch so he can't hear me. I'm going to move over here and then craft some of these. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We have to eat to get out of here. Here we go. Here we go. Full speed. Sprint. Oh, he's upgraded up here too. He's put some sugar cane. I don't know if I love that, but you know what? It's his own creative like little prerogative. So we'll leave it. All right. There we go. And we're back upstairs. No Isaac. No Isaac. Okay. It looks like he's actually just left. Here's what I'm thinking. If I can cover this with trap doors, I might be able to make a double layered trap door. This now covers up the water in the center so you can comfortably walk over it. And if Isaac opened this, he sees that below it. But if I can make four more of these and put four more down there, I can then open these, let the water flow and come up through this as a secret entrance right in the center of our base. But before I do it, I want to show him it now. That way he doesn't get suspicious and look more in depth later when I change it. All right, Isaac, let's see what you've been doing down here. Welcome, Zach. This is the new barn. Wow. Oh, this is crazy. And this is going to be all of the animal cages down here, Zach. We need a self-sustaining animal area. Bro, this goes hard. I got a little bit more dirt in here. Good. That's exactly what I needed because I don't have any of that left. But let me show you what I made. I added sugar cane. I decked this room out right here. This took quite some time. I had to dig the whole thing out and carve it. Oh, this does look nice, actually. I do like this little chill area right here below the guy's base. We'll just be sitting here talking while he's above us. I like that. Yeah, this is the only thing I don't know if I like. We need more greenery down here. It's depressing. I don't know. Something about that. I feel like it takes away from the ceiling, maybe. Oh, no. Trust me. It's just, just step one. There's more I got to do here. Okay, okay. I'll keep working down here. We're almost done down here, so we'll be able to switch soon. All right. I'm going to do an invasion soon. Good luck. Okay. Um, I actually didn't plan to do more. I realized that I didn't center this, and that's going to trigger Isaac. So I need to now get creative to... Basically, I have to completely redesign this in a way uh, with, that I don't move this, that I also impress Isaac. 
music. All right, so I think four cages is going to be the perfect amount down here for the farm. We got them all even for the most part. Like these ones are coming right off the staircase and then these two are back here. The only thing I can genuinely think of is that if I move the entire thing right here. While I was making my perfect centerpiece, Isaac was still making the mob farm without a single idea of what I was actually doing. What do you think? Oh, okay, you know what? That's a little bit better with the little thing. For some reason though, the sugar cane, like I don't like how tall it is. That's, I think that's what I don't like. I think it would look better if those were flowers. If we get some tall flowers, like rose bushes or something. Well, I gotta go up top to get some uh, some dirt. So if I see any flowers, I'll bring them back down. All right, good luck up there. Guys, thank God he's upstairs and you didn't open this because I just realized that this actually had a hole all the way down to my base. And if Isaac would have opened that, we would have been totally exposed right there. We're gonna cover that up. We're gonna seal this. We're gonna go back downstairs. We're gonna check how our base looks. You can't ask Loverfell to do anything. I feel like I asked him to get dirt like an hour ago. He said he'd do it and then he didn't bring me enough. And then that was the end of it. He was not gonna go out and get more after he didn't get enough. So what we're gonna do is we're up at the top and we are just gonna find more and more of this stuff. Oh, there is a little water that seems like it is poking through here. There we go. Fully sealed up, ready to go. Now, if I want to leave, I think I have a double trap door exit right there. It kind of does change the base just a little bit down here. Plenty of dirt to finish this now. Oh, look at that. The slimes have spawned in here, guys. So now we have our first little animals in the animal exhibit. I'm about to buy a few blocks of grass to put down here so that it can propagate and spread throughout the area. Let's just go ahead and buy 64 of them. It's only 1600. I mean, we've stolen items worth like hundreds of thousands this time. I think we've got this set up in a really cool way where we can just have that water flow down whenever we need as an emergency escape right there into the central main room, which is pretty phenomenal. All right, here we go. So we're going to do this right here. We'll put a double door here. We got to be very careful because I imagine Isaac will be coming back home soon, but we've now got a double door that leads into the uh, emergency escape route, which we can try, but I'm getting a little bit more paranoid now that he's going to find us. And so what I'm actually going to do is start segmenting my rooms like this by actually sealing them off from each other. So now, like if he does find this, he doesn't realize there's more rooms. Do you guys think Isaac knows that this is here? Because if he knows it's here, then I'm the one getting roasted here. If he knows that I've done this, then I'm the one that'll be made fun of at the end of this video, not him. If Isaac does know this base is here, and I don't know if he does, there's the only way that I can embarrass him. Do I want to invade myself invading Isaac? But then I remembered one of the tricks Isaac would always pull as a little kid in our house. He would always bring two snacks out of the snack drawer, knowing he'd get caught with the first one. And then when our parents' guard was down, he'd sneak out with the second snack and they wouldn't be suspicious. And that's the same thing I was going to do to him today. By creating a second base under the first base, I've lowered his guard. And now there's no chance he'll have any idea it's down there. Look how awesome this looks down here. This is maybe one of my favorite builds I've ever done in a home invader base, guys. You come down this, look how good this looks. The blue and the green detail behind the fence. The only thing this place is missing is maybe some hay bales. Oh, it looks like we might at least be able to make one. If I can show him that the base already exists and then actually invade the base that's there, he's not going to think that I would have thought that far ahead to do a double invasion. It's going to get a little bit crazy here, to be completely honest with you, but I'm actually going to go do something right now and the actual invasion will be under here because I'm just getting suspicious, bro. As I'm doing this, have I not built most of this base? What has he been doing? If he's done as much as me, we would have a really cool base, I feel like. I don't know where Loverfella is right now. I haven't seen him in a while, come to think of it. I'm getting super confused. All right, here we go. I think this is going to work. I want to show you something. I want you to be totally honest with me, all right? Did you know this entire time you've been building, I've been building a secret base underneath invading you? No. No. What? Actually, be honest. Tell me. Dude, I'm being honest. How long have you been invading me? You had no idea this was here. But is this all it was? Because if this all it was, this isn't really a big invasion. I don't know how I would have heard this. Well, I, I, it was very difficult to make. It took me forever. How long have you been doing this for? Like three days. Yeah, this was just a little secret invasion. I was going to invade your base. But now I think I'm going to uh, turn this into an expansion on the above room, which is pretty cool. Wish me luck. That's going to be my project. So get up there. How do I get out? Even? You got to have food and you got to swim. All right. Apparently, he's been invading us the whole time. Now, I don't know, though. Has he been doing that the whole time, though? Like, I didn't know this was down here, but at the same time, I, that's not a very big room down there, guys. Like, he did all of that. Like, he's saying he's been doing that for this entire time. I don't know, because I just did this in a very short amount of time. Now that I've revealed this exists, he's not going to expect that I'll be invading the same base that I invaded him with originally. So, I'm going to leave this open, and there's zero chance in the world that he would think I would reveal that to him and then also invade it a second time. If I let this water flow on down, now we have this, like, beautiful little waterfall right here that's going to be an actual entrance into the main base. This will be totally usable and add a second story to our base. And now all I have to do is actually invade the base that I have here that Isaac won't realize. I am confused by that. Maybe he has another secret base under here somewhere because he has been disappearing a lot. So maybe he's just been like tricking me and invading me the whole time. I don't know. I'm getting super suspicious now. Like, how am I supposed to catch him? I thought he was on my team. Like when I hear him doing stuff, I just assume he's building with me. I'm not even sure. I might have to go for a triple invade on him now. Um, but he did see me digging here, which is a little bit suspicious. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go right down here in this corner. And now we're going to start invading the base that's right there that Isaac doesn't realize is there. We're getting a double invasion 
confusion on him because I can't have him know. Okay, so we've actually got a massive cave down here that we can work with to build. And there's gonna be no chance he realizes this is actually happening. The fact that this is already mostly dug out makes this even easier. So let's go ahead and clear out the corner really quick. Let's go ahead and see if we can work that out. If he actually invaded me, guys, like that, if he was being legit there, then he has basically broken the home invader rules. Like you can't invade a fellow invader, I feel like. Oh, that's right. I said that I was gonna connect the farm over to it also because we found that little secret pathway. So we could do that right now. Okay, now that there's basically 0% chance Isaac thinks I'm still continuing with this because he found me, I think that this really allows us to actually engage in the actual invasion here. So I, I will make sure that he gets absolutely embarrassed at the end of this video one way or another. I mean, it's essential that this, this happened. All right, guys, I think I've decided I'm gonna turn this little area into my mini invade on Loverfella. He's not gonna know this is here and I'm gonna turn this in on my own little secret hideout and we're gonna see how long it takes him to discover it. I wanna make this right here a secret redstone door. So for now, we're gonna cover this up and hopefully he doesn't ever come over here to notice it and that's what we're gonna be working on. I'm gonna seal this off from the cave in case Isaac were to ever jump into that cave. That way there's like no chance he finds it. I'm gonna leave that stone there so I know never expand that way. We're gonna be a little bit sneaky through here in my opinion. Right, there's the redstone. I think the other items we're gonna need are iron probably. And then we're also gonna want those sticky balls. Are we actually out of iron right now, guys? I don't think we have any iron. That's kind of concerning in my opinion. All right, this place looks phenomenal. And now we've got enough water to make our own infinite water source down here. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that really quick. And then I gotta go back upstairs and I gotta find a way to get up because we're getting really deep. All right, so we need some smooth stone to craft some pistons, guys, that we're gonna need to make our door. But we also need some more iron because we don't have any iron right now. We got some slime balls now, so that's all those we're gonna need. I think what we're gonna do is actually just go down here into the mine, break off and try to find some iron really quick. So what I'm, I'm kind of trying to do here is make a staircase that ladders us up right to that corner. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then very quickly now, we can create a little design like this where the water can flow down when we're ready. We can shimmy right on up. Oh no, that's not actual real water. Okay, what's that from? Where's that? Oh, that's coming from up top because this was filled in. So the actual water flows down right here. My actual entrance is under this redstone torch right here. So in order to get up, we need to make sure water actually flows down, which means this needs to be broken. But for now it works. I have a way to get down inside my secret base. And I have a way for Isaac not to be suspicious about it because we've now double invaded him. Let's go see what he's doing to see if he's suspicious. How are we looking up there? Awesome. Oh, good, good, good. This base is really coming along, isn't it? What are you doing, Zach? You've been invading me. Like you haven't been helping. I'm, I just, I feel like you broke the trust of me today. Like, I don't know. I thought we were invading brothers and then you're invading me. I did invade you, but at least you caught me. That's what counts. Well, I kind of caught you, but I don't know what to make of that, you know? But what I'm thinking is, if you come up with me back here, uh, what are you working on downstairs? Uh, well, I'm making the mine shaft look a little nicer. I did the oak stairs, and then now I'm just doing a little bit extra torch detail. I mean, this place is basically done, so I'm almost done down here. Well, what, what I'm thinking is, because we made this secret invasion down here, we should expand this and turn it into a great feature of the base. Imagine when we have a secret room down here. Come on in. You know what I mean? Imagine, what, what if we make this look a little better? Spruce it up. I mean, this is, I feel like what this is good for, actually. Like, I don't know if we need to spruce this up too much. If he comes down here and finds a sec, we can come down here and just hide. It's like an emergency hiding area. Yeah, I mean, this is nice. So I feel like it's actually doing the job pretty well already. It's getting the job done. You're right about that. I'm gonna work on making it a little bit better with some hidey holes. I think I'm gonna go for an invade right now, if you don't mind. Go get it, go get it. I wish you luck. We are not going for an invade, boys. If we are going for an invade, it's on him because he disrespected us, guys. I could care less about the base owner now. The new objective is to invade Loverfella. I don't care at all costs. We are invading this man. Now, first of all, I gotta remember how to make a piston. There we go. Okay. So now we got three pistons. If we combine those with the slime balls, we now just need to make some repeaters and we should be able to make a secret door. All right. Isaac's going up for an invasion. I'm going to add just a little bit more detail down here. And then I have this really crazy idea to see how much I can deck this place out before he actually finds that we're working in this corner, but I can't have Isaac come in this room and make things. And so I'm going to try to put something in this corner that he will definitely never look under, which is a crafting table. And if I can do this correctly, I can turn this little thing into a secret piston door, which is only activated by a redstone torch being placed. So I'm going to see if I can do that right now. So both of us decided to work on hidden redstone doors. And after 20 minutes of trial and error, I finally finished mine. And to hide it better, I placed a bunch of buttons around the room while Isaac. Now see, the problem with this is guys, I know nothing about redstone and I refuse to watch a tutorial video. Like if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right, all right? And now we've got a really cool way to get in. Fall down, boom, you're on this. And then this leads right literally perfectly to the staircase. The only thing we don't have right now is A, the same block to get the staircase going. And B, of course, uh, we don't have a way to get out of this. So I need to actually wire that. Getting in is the, the cool part. Getting out is, is not as important. We'll, we'll figure out getting out when that comes. We've got a beautiful staircase. Let's get this thing looking magical. Here we go. Okay, holy crap, guys. I know nothing about redstone, but look at this little contraption I've made here. I don't think this is really how it's supposed to look, but watch. If I pull the lever, opens up the door, secret entrance. If I close it, it's completely hidden from the inside because that's the corner right there. We now have our secret door constructed. So what we need to do is deck out this little room back here. He's never gonna know it was here. So I placed down uh, like a little bit of a ring on the edge up there. So we have some blackstone right 
right there. And then down here, we have uh, all the stuff that we've actually brought down from the upstairs base. And then we can start organizing stuff and then start actually going in and just straight up invading him and start taking blocks down. Now we got to figure out how we get back upstairs, but I think it's going to be as simple as uh, jumping up here, breaking this, going into the room, sealing this back up and something like this, seal that back up. All right, this is just kind of just process of elimination, guys. I've completely like simplified the redstone. I got rid of this one too. I realized that most of it was completely worthless. This is all you need to make a secret door. All right, two entrances in, two entrances out. We got a redstone secret door. Let's see what Isaac's doing. We're actually gonna make a little water pathway down here into the cage that we can climb up. He'll never suspect a little water path because we're gonna put it in all four corners to make it look like a decorative. How's the invasion going? What? How's the invasion? Zach, we're going great, but stop. I'm in the water paths in his base right now. Quiet. Oh, okay, well, good luck, good luck. All right, he's still in there. Good, good, good. Let's get back downstairs. Okay, good, guys. He's gone. He, it's not fair. How am I supposed to invade him when he clearly joins? He definitely heard us say something. He's 100% suspicious now, and there's nothing that we can do about that. The water play is no longer going to work. I think the only way to get in here, we're just going to have to make it. You have to just break through this corner here, and then when you get in, you close it. All right, let's get a little bit more building. We got to get this thing looking good. Now, I can use a little bit of my wood here to create some sticks out of, just like this, and then I can create some ladders, and we've got ourselves a beautiful central bunk bed system. All right, that looks pretty clean. And what we want to do now is just kind of spruce up the place. We'll add some furniture in here. We kind of want it to be a chill spot without the fella. Like having a spot to just get away from lover fella. That's really what this is all about, guys. I would say that this invasion base is done. It looks way better than his ever did. The one thing I'm thinking we can do, if we go to slash shop and we buy a few pieces of wool, we can actually make some paintings, which I think will look awesome in here. And we'll just put these up on the wall and they're going to really make this place feel pretty awesome. So beautiful staircase right here in the center of the room. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's clean this up. It is awkward how you have to walk into it here, but it, it takes you right up to where you need to be. So we've got bunk beds, we've got chests, we've got crafting zones. We've got a lot of the basics. Anything else that we could put down here to make sure this invasion is extra spicy and embarrassing for Isaac? A farm. Yeah, definitely. We want to get a little bit of a farm down here really quick. We're going to go back upstairs now, uh, grab some more supplies to bring back down. We're going to go through here, seal that back up. And then of course we go back up through the redstone chamber through this wall here that we sealed up as well. Seal it back up through this. Bam. And Isaac has no idea what's going on down here. All right. That is the genius of the double home invasion. All right. It is literally the most advanced possible tactic ever. Zero percent chance he actually realizes that's happening. Let's go ahead and walk out of here now and say we didn't get anything good. I I'm going to be honest. I really want the red sun to work from this side too. So I'm going to try to get that to work. All right, guys, if Loverfella walks back here, we are absolutely screwed. He's going to catch us. I don't know what I'm doing with redstone, but I'm trying to jerry rig this to work. Okay, we've actually done it. We're just gonna leave that there and go back and talk to him, see what he's up to. How are we looking, buddy? I got some wood. Oh, we got some wood, let's go. All right, guys, our base is looking really juicy and spicy and clean right now, but we got some serious upgrades we need to make. Namely, we've gotta get this giant tree farm made. So Isaac, can you get started on that? I think we need a two person job on this. I'm not gonna lie. I tried to do it myself and it turned into a farm. I, I, have, a, I have a more important project to work on. I'm gonna be making the mob grinder. Well, you know what? That's actually fair. We need a mob grinder. I forgot about that. All right, I'll get the tree farm. I can do it finally. All right, uh, good luck, Don. There. So guys, before I do that, base downstairs and start roasting Isaac, we need to make like a mob grinder and I want to use the mobs. Okay, there's Nelly right there. Bro's really working on this build competition, so we need to reward him because he thinks there's a real one. Guys, my secret base is right there and I'm hoping that Loverfella doesn't notice the water dripping down. All right, he's looking at me. I don't know what he's doing. He's giving me a little bit of nerves right there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this feel very natural down here. I feel like we could put a doorway out of the barn right here and it's going to go out into the world per se. And and it's actually just gonna be like a grassland biome that houses our trees underground. I need to move some of the mobs down and I'm looking at the name tags. I can see that's Nelly. I can see there's zombies here. I mean, I feel like I could go for zombies, but the thing is, if I could get these to fall down potentially, it would be great. The thing is though, I, I, I need to do it quick because I got to get working on the secret base on Isaac. We got to tear this out. We have a lot to dig out for this tree farm, everybody. All right, I have an awesome vision for this place, guys. So basically we made it look like we're outside even though we're underground in our animal farm right here. And I wanted to kind of carry that theme on into the tree biome in here. So we're going to walk out the door right here. We're going to make this look more like an entrance or an exit to the barn. And then out here, we're going to do the whole ceiling in blue wool and we'll use grass and green wool too to kind of make it look like we actually walk outside down here. We're going to move these beds. And frankly, it's a weird spot for beds anyway. I mean, it, it, it's always been weird. I don't know why none of you said that already. Let's sleep in the ground in a little indented, beautiful little sleeping area with some separation between us because we're not going to sleep next to each other. It's weird. It appears as though there's water right here. So if I were to dig this out, I'll not be able to really carefully build a actual mob grinder. All right, so the mobs will theoretically then fall down into the center of this. We can then kill them and then collect their dead bodies. She's all looking good, folks. Uh, next step is how did I misalign this so poorly? What in the world? I must be the dumbest person because I don't understand how that's even possible to miss so bad. I mean, it's not even a difficult thing to make. Okay, we've got a sizable little portion
portion dug out right here. Now it's not massive yet, but I just wanted to get it lit up before I went any further because then the creepers start to spawn and you know how I am with creepers. They always kill me. So then you got yourself a new little walkway in there. I think it looks fine. And then we can seal this off right in the middle. And now the staircase is even more hidden. It's just got like a double door. I, th I think it's fine. I, I don't care. I think it looks great. Let's get in here, break this water and the zombies should theoretically come right on in here. Okay, risky play of the day, folks, has been engaged. Um, <laughs> look at that. Let's make some wood. We need some trap doors. There we go. Some trap doors here. That way we have a way to get in. Oh my God, he's being sucked up. Oh, we got drowned. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't know that. When you put a zombie grinder in the water, they turn into drowned and it appears as though Nelly is actively killing them actually right above us right now. It must just think this is a hole. <laughs> Did I not realize? Oh, they sealed it back up. Bro, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Isaac, look at this. Dude, this is actually sick, dude. But the base owner is right above you. You better be careful. Well, the base owner just killed some zombies. The items fell down. We actually got some free flesh and I'm going to kill these. Yeah, you don't want those piling up there because it shows the name tags. That's the problem with it. I'm going to replace these with trap doors so we can open and get in easier. I think though we need like an auto kill thing or they're going to accumulate and he's going to see the name tags. You're right. You're right. We do need an auto kill thing. Maybe you need like a magma floor down there or something. Yeah. Yeah, but that's gonna make a lot of noise. It would, but I think it's better than the name tags because he doesn't play with noise. Remember, we kind of already decided that. We, uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably at this point pretty much guaranteed there's no noise. I could just dig a deep hole and have them die on fall damage, but they would be in water, so that's not gonna work. Well, it looks like they're falling, so I think that would work as long as you dug this deep enough. Let me let me do a brainstorm session. You head back down there, and I'll keep working on this. Okay. All right, and I'll just think it over and see what I can see what I can resolve. Good luck. All right, now's our chance, guys. Here we go. Wrong button. Correct button. All right, back inside. Actually in the action here, folks. This is where we need to be right now. Now this base is looking phenomenal, but I know where Isaac's working on a tree farm. I know that tree farm is just around the corner over here. I want to use Super Breaker here. Again, if you guys play on my server, play.loverfella.com. Soon we'll be supporting Bedrock. You'll be able to use things like Super Breaker. This creates a nice little tunnel that kind of cuts right underneath the old base right here. And then we can just... Woo! he just do up there oh my gosh he's got to stop using whatever that tool is guys it's so loud so now this hallway is literally open to the exact mine and staircase that isaac is actively working on i'm not exactly sure where isaac's making the tree farm guys so here's the plan if isaac sees me creeping around in these caves he'll be very suspicious so we're gonna go in this we're gonna walk up and see if there's anywhere he's building right over there okay so <laughs> what a perfect little secret thing he'll never find this absolutely ridiculous truly insane and when he finds out that I use his own strategy against him, he'll be even more freaked out. What we need to do now is actually go back to the market. I sold like 10 diamonds, so we have enough money to buy all the wool we're going to need. Of course, I sold the diamonds that this guy sold to us. But what I want to do is kind of get like these lime green walls and the ceiling up and just see how that makes the place feel. I'm going to just come up with a solution for him here so he knows that I'm working on this because I'm trying to brainstorm a little bit. These are going to be how we open it to let them come down. I'm assuming we'll be okay. There we go. Get him down. Get him down. Close it off. There we go. All right. That's excellent. So now we can go up there, pull the trap door. Those will open and we can get the zombies to fall down inside of our base, which is kind of nice. Hopefully Nelly doesn't notice what's going on and I hope I didn't ruin any of the water. This is the biggest base we've ever made inside of somebody else's home. All right, guys, we got two stacks of green wool and then we got four stacks of the other wool. I think this will be good. We're going to use this as our artificial turf down here and then we'll obviously put a real dirt block wherever we put the saplings. Oh, Isaac's right over there. I have the base right here. I need to get underneath Isaac's base, but I need to do it in a way that's like smart and intelligent. So I'm going to close this off. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to start digging a hole and I'm going to see if I can get a hole dug and start invading Isaac while he's living literally building a tree farm that he thinks we're both building. Very risky though. I'm thinking that this is tall enough to grow a tree in though, between this lime green wool and the blue ceiling. That's big enough in my opinion. So I think tree farm will be a... What do I hear being dug right now? If I go really, there it is. There's the floor. There's the floor. If I go really, really fast. Is that lover fella? Oh, wow. Stalactites. Hey, these could kill the freaking. This is perfect. I'll tell Isaac I was underneath him collecting stalactites. And that's why he was super breaking. He won't even have any suspicion now. Okay. I'm very confused with what I just heard. I'd love to go check out my base up there, guys. There's my secret base. I got to get this covered up as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and place some dripstone down. Bro, that's actually so crazy looking. The only thing that would make this better is if there was a slightly easier way to get up there and actually open those so the zombies would Ball. Like, I feel like if I could just hit it with like a clean little ladder system right here, you climb up the ladder. I'm going to try that. And then I think that'll be enough to like really start hitting like two birds with one stone. Get a grinder that Isaac will believe is legit what I'm working on at the same time. Literally get a giant thing underneath Isaac and now reason to be there so he won't be suspicious. All right, there we go. We got the ceiling done right there. And I actually want to carry the sky down a little bit onto the walls. I think two down because that's going to make it look like the sky goes off into the horizon. Look at that. Whoa, look at this craziness. This must be the original roof layer we placed down 
to block ours from theirs. And then it seems like there's now another, like there's like three layers now between us. I don't even know if we put this here. I I'm not even sure who did this. No wonder maybe Neil couldn't hear us. There was three layers of blocks between us. What? You mean to tell me I can home invade Isaac below and above at the exact same time? Anybody have no idea that I'm also up here simultaneously getting the double home invasion. I I'd really like to clean this out, but I feel like it's too risky to build up here at the moment, given that Neil is literally three feet away from me. So we'll leave this open. And then all you have to do is walk up and you've got absolutely stunning access to the access panel. So we'll give it a shot here. Neil's very close to me. Here we go. Let him in. Okay, so it didn't actually kill them kind of like I anticipated it would. It did do a little damage, but it's better than nothing. I'll tell you that right now. I should show Isaac this. Isaac, take a look. Take a look. Whoa, do those actually kill it when they fall on? No, but I found them underneath the base. And if you climb up this ladder, you can take this right up and look at this. It gives you access to the panel where you can now open the panel right here. They'll fall. God, like he's right in front of you. It is so weird, dude. Yeah, you're going to get caught up there. Not only that, you can get into the base that way. It's like a free access panel right into their base and he has no idea. This is nice. Well, I'm working on the tree farm. It's not done yet, so don't come look yet, but we'll get there. Okay, he's looking anyway, so he just completely ignored me. Ooh, ugly. Good luck, though. If I can tell Isaac it's ugly, it'll keep him distracted a little bit longer so I can get back down here and get working on what matters. Loverfella just came down here and said this is ugly. Now, here's the thing. You can never take Loverfella's opinion on anything building-wise. If you look at any of the house flips, guys, I don't think I've ever been outbuilt by the man. Like, the man does not know how to build. He watches TikTok hacks and kind of redoes them. I mean, that's not even building, guys. He's just copying what other people already do. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of decoration in here because the more detailed I can make a build, the more stunned Isaac will be when he comes down and sees it. So one thing that I love is a nice indented wall. All right. I think it adds a lot of value, a lot of just beauty. Look at that. Just truly stunning. Now that we have this beautiful little indentation here, we do need some sort of decoration. I feel like to make it look good. And uh, you know what we could do here? We'll put a little sign down and we'll say Isaac got home invaded. And then we have our little secret door here. Not exactly secret now that I put a door on top of it, but it gets the job done. Let's go get back under Isaac's base. Oh, that's the floor. That's right. That's right. So I'm trying to think about how I could mine this out while he's actually actively building in it because that adds slightly a little bit of a challenge to make this borderline impossible to do. I'm gonna try to go this way and see where this takes me to. Crap, crap, this slowed me down. Oh, that's the that's the staircase for the mine. No way. And I know that Isaac won't be able to hear me, I don't think, this far away because I can't hear what he's doing. All right, guys, I know Loverfella said he didn't like it, but look how this is coming along now. We got the clouds up here. We got some white wool to make it look like there's clouds floating in the sky. And then, of course, we have the sun. Now, I don't have any saplings on me right now, I don't think. Um, I do have the bone meal. We were able to get that from some of the mob spawners, um, but I need to go up here and kind of find some saplings. I thought we had some birch ones, but I'm sure we got something I can use somewhere. I'm going to use this to store some of the items that I have so far in my inventory that I really just don't need because they're destroying my inventory space. But I do want to make another wart farm. And since I have 12 of these, I think I can go to the shop and I've probably sold enough at this point to buy just a little bit more soul sand. So with 13 soul sand, instead of building it in my main room, this becomes my new soul sand farm right in here. All right, check that out. We have our own secret soul sand farm now underground inside of our base, which is under a base, which is inside of that secret base. So if he finds that base, you won't find this, which is, and it's just, it, we're, it's just it ridiculous. Oh, there we go. We got 13 oak saplings in here. I knew we saved some from earlier in the episodes. Hopefully, once I put these down, I can bone meal them and actually get them to grow. We got one. Now, this other one, though, I don't know if it's going to grow. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, we're going to go through a whole thing of bone meal, but we did actually get a tree to grow in here. So that's pretty cool. Now, are these, look at this, guys. We're actually going to be able to get four trees in here, I think. Look at that. That is so good. Now, this is a tight tree room. That's all I can say on that, but it is very efficient with the space. There we go, guys. We got an underground path now that leads right directly to underneath Isaac, underneath the stairs. We have access everywhere. And then we talked about how on the roof, there was a secret area up there that I like to connect to this base. So in order to do that, we're going to go back into this main central room right here. We're going to put these back. All right. Always seal it up like that. And then if I go upstairs, I need to find a way to connect the actual mob grinder to this secret base. And that's going to be very challenging. So here's what we do. We climb the ladder system. We go through here. We break this little secret entrance that leads you into the secret base, close it back off. Then we need to go back to here and then actually dig down around our base into my actual secret base. You're going to see my idea here in a second. It's going to be mind boggling. It does feel like maybe we should make this a doorway too. I'm not really sure to what though, but I think in order to keep this place symmetrical, we should break this out right now. All right. So this side kind of opens up into a natural cave and I think that's fine. We could kind of use that to our advantage and we could kind of make this like a mine shaft entrance from the inside of the barn. All right. So we've got a pretty cool area right here coming down and we made this little platform at the bottom just kind of as your walkway to enter the cave. Um, we're going to make some birch slabs. I think those will look a little bit better for the staircase going up. So folks, we are finally getting this thing going somehow. And all the staircases that I made are actually useful. So anybody who said they weren't useful, guess what? They are. We just have to take this all the way down and connect it to my secret room. And then we'll be able to get above Isaac, below Isaac, and we'll have invaded him in literally every single possible angle and every single possible situation. All right, guys, and the entrance to the cave is officially done. We added some ladders right there because the staircase wasn't kind of steep enough. But also it feels a lot more protected now that we did it like that. So now you have an awesome entrance into the cave over here. And then on this side, you have an awesome entrance down into the tree farm. Seems like that's our base. Oh, 
This is my secret base. No way. What are the odds of that? Just randomly spamming it and we get finding it. Oh, come on. This is too good. This is too good. This might be one of the best invasions I've ever done. Above Isaac, below Isaac, inside of Isaac. We are at every possible angle. We're inside of his dreams. We're in his walls. So then all I have to do is bring this into the actual main base because I don't want it to actually be here. What did I just find down here, everybody? Look at this, guys. I was digging my tree farm out. I said, I want to reposition the trees. I dig down and I find this molehill. Is he invading me again? There's no freaking way that I just found him invading me again. What the heck is this nonsense down here? Or is this just how we got the dripstone, guys? Is anybody else seeing this? How on earth did I just find a random little mine shaft down here right below my tree farm? Okay, everything that way seems clear. We gotta, we gotta investigate this, guys. We're gonna have to follow this tunnel. So now you're able to walk up here, get out of the base, walking upstairs to the roof end entrance and then you make it into here and then you are able to be above Isaac as well absolutely incredible it clearly goes right below where we were is this some sort of invasion from him where's it going we're gonna sneak up this so he doesn't notice us by the way guys just so you understand where we are this is Isaac's special light feature that he made above the base and now this little special light feature is my floor because I'm disrespecting it now and his whole little fancy roof pattern all of it oh my goodness oh my goodness we have done so much here multiple secret bases absolutely incredible Cool. How's that tree farm looking, Isaac? It's looking good. We're not done with it yet, though. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing that thing. You need any help over there? Uh, I think I'm good for now. We'll meet up in like five minutes in the central base so I can show you. All right. Five minutes central base meet up. Sounds like a plan. He is definitely in this base, guys. Anyone just hear his voice? He doesn't normally talk like that. He's asking me about my build. No, I couldn't give anything away, guys. He's in this tunnel. We're about to come face to face with him. Look at this elaborate system. He has like a secret nether wart down here growing. He's got invisibility potion production. Look at this base we just discovered. Once we meet up with Isaac in the central base, it might be time to show him the giant reveal that's been happening this entire time he's been playing. When he finds out there is not one, not two, not three, but like 15 secret bases under him, including an entire secret base path there, he's probably going to absolutely lose his mind. Now, I think it would be more funny to leave a message to him because if he finds this, he's going to realize that we found it. I don't even want to tell him that we found it, guys. We're just going to leave a little message in here. We're going to say hi. Hopefully he doesn't notice this. Now, I don't even know where this is, but we found his secret base. Let's just go this way too. Now, can I use this to make an entrance into Isaac's base? And I think the answer is a resounding yes because i know this way behind this piece of block that i placed should be yep right there go ahead and do this always mark it with andesite and just like that we're inside the base so now isaac literally could never find me no matter what i'm doing now he's gonna find that and he's gonna freak out he's gonna be like did he find me of course we found him zach you can't invade me i'm too good at this game we're just gonna cover this all up act like nothing happened and we're gonna get these two trees planted because this room clearly fits two trees better than it would have fit four i hear him breaking stuff right now guys he is the worst invader ever do you hear this right now oh he's in here what do you think oh look at this look at this little area yeah what is this little spot i'm not sure i dug into the the wall and there was a hole here so i was like well i might as well just add the hole to make it do something is your room ready to look at yeah tree farm's done um it you know is it the best build i've ever done no but it's very functional and i'm happy enough with it that's pretty cool let's take a look at it oh look at that we actually got grown trees yeah we got two trees down here it works we got the it's just a little scene you know it feels like you're walking out of the barn you know what i'm saying because right here it feels like you're in the barn you can look out this is crazy i was like i want to ask you a question though this was me invading your base down here and I, you know what I, I thought to myself today i thought how can i make a video where i invade my brother right where i could trick you wait is there another one did you invade me again no but there's a lot of things that we did to hide this from you. We changed the name of this video. We named the Google Drive something else. We convinced Isaac it was a civilization, so he thought that's what we were doing. I even lied to him over the last week and said our commands were disabled, and all of that was a lie. Okay. But you know what's even crazier, Isaac? What? Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to steal two candy bars? Once you got caught on purpose because you knew once they caught you, they would stop looking for the second one? Yeah, it's a pro move. Still impressed with myself. I used to do that. Do you remember earlier, Isaac, when you caught my base? Yeah, I do. Do you think maybe I left that hole there on purpose so that you would catch me? and lower your guard. This one in here? And if you follow me downstairs, you will see that I built this entire base to simply distract you and use your own trick against you because my friend right down here what is the actual secret base that I've been building this entire time. Now, Zach, I have a reveal for you. <laughs> what? I believe if I'm correct. Yeah. Yes. Why don't you check this chest, Zach? Get wrecked. But I have a reveal for you. Oh, wait, another one? You may have found this base, but this wasn't even the real secret base the entire time. Have you followed me upstairs through this? There's another one? You gotta be kidding me. And upstairs, you'll see the entire time I've actually been living above you, Isaac, the entire time, using your beautiful chandelier as my flooring. Okay, well, you know what, Zach? Screw this, follow me. Okay. I don't even know how many times you invaded me because I did not find that ceiling one. Come through here, Zach. <laughs> No way! Oh my... 
get invaded, baby. And I was smart enough to take all the valuables. So I have all the good stuff. No, dude, I've been looking for stuff and wondering where it went. I took it all. So I am the champion of home invaders and I have an indoor swimming pool. Dude, I swear if there is a secret base behind one of these signs, I will lose my mind. No, this this is it. This is it. This is as far as I got. This is crazy, Isaac. But if you dig down right here, what you're no gonna way. find. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was getting worried there. Whew. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Isaac. But I know you didn't know my roof was up there. No, I didn't, but you didn't know my base was there. It's like, I'm calling this a tie. Well, I have a reveal for you.